Welcome back everyone to another video and in this one I will be taking a look at a old Raspberry Pi related project and that is the Duke Pad. Now this was uh, actually created by guys at Oracle and uh, Raspberry Pi together and this project uses uh, Java JFX to render some nice graphics as you can see on the screen on this tablet now i'm not talk going to talk about the overall hardware it is running on an older raspberry pi but uh, we will be uh, taking a look at the ui itself uh, which was actually not working and it's still not working on the raspberry pi as the uh, jfx platform has now been uh, discontinued on arm processor by uh, oracle and the open jfx also d was not able to run this properly and we were getting some issues now i will link uh, this project down in the description as well as uh, this um raspberry pi forum post where, where uh, a lot of people actually discuss uh, things to get it working but um as you can see no one has actually uh, gone ahead and have this properly working on the raspberry pi even me uh, so i will be showing it to you guys on uh, my main system so the first few things that you would need to change uh, change in the code before uh, actually implementing it and compiling it the first one is in the project uh, file calculator theme uh, here we have to change on line number 29 um, where it says comson java jfx util it was earlier just simply dot utils instead of dot util dot util so this has to be changed and in calculator ui uh, at around line 248 this o at override was not commented you have to comment that as well once you are done that everything should work fine so let's go ahead and run our project Alright, so here we have the project itself. Uh, as you can see, this is what looks like the uh, lock screen with our date, time, and in that manner, very well um, designed, I'd say. So we'll move this to the top orange bar, and that gives us our main uh, Duke Pad user interface. So this is very very minimalist. There are no more apps than what there is there already is, and even most of them are just say under construction because this project never got to a point where it could be completed. Now we have the calculator app which works fine, of course, no issues there. And next up we have the clock again it's under construction compass is also under construction the uh, chess app is supposed to be working but uh, due to some issues on the code we actually cannot get the um, app to work so and if you are uh, seeing this half of the app is outside the screen and that's just because the main chessboard is on another window and the background is on the main application window so as you can see this is what we get so um closing that what we have next is called a cube again this is supposed this rubik's cube should be at the center but due to it being on a different screen it is not and there are not many actions you can do with this just simply rotate it sort of a graphics um, demo and that 3d graphics work and then we have our lock screen which will bring us back over here and we have our music play and so if you add media it should actually show that so what I'll do is go ahead and create a media directory. Okay, so it seems the media is actually broken. I did go ahead and add some files, but uh, it will still not create the media UI. It is giving, it is not uh, anymore giving me the uh, directory not found error, 
but we still don't have any player as i told you it is it was under construction uh, it was still a work in progress but it got shut down so on settings we have we can set different wallpapers uh, which is actually nice and we also have the option of uh, showing all the different networks so this is currently showing my connected ethernet uh, network um, and then the weather app is again under construction so uh, this was about it if you guys know anything about properly running this application on the raspberry pi do let me know and if you do uh, get it running uh, make sure you go ahead and post on the raspberry pi forums uh, i'll get a notification and i might do a video on it again and of course give you the proper credits this is about it uh, finally let's go ahead and quit and that was the video so thank you so much for watching and make sure to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one